Okay, I have a story time. I'm going to title this one, Married Single Mother Edition. So, this woman says, My sister would ask me to come watch her newborn at odd hours of the early morning. I was eight months pregnant. I did it because I thought her husband was always working and she was raising her three kids pretty much on her own. Well, one day, I see my brother-in-law scroll into the room looking well-rested. I asked her, has he been here the whole time? I guess I'm about to leave since you don't need me here. Y'all, she had been calling me over to babysit at eight months pregnant myself just so he didn't have to get off of work and deal with the kids. This man would go, would get up and go to the gym or hang out with the boys or he would be cheating on her. Child. As a single parent, I asked her what the hell she needed me for if he was there. What about me being tired when I'm off work? I don't get to call her to come babysit. I have to be a parent. I told her she was acting like she was a single parent, the way she acted like she needed help. But the reality is she is a married single mother. This man never picks up the kids, never makes them dinner, barely watches them. And I even caught him in the act of cheating. She went off on me when I told her what I'd seen. Honey, my sister caters to that man and those kids and it's literally draining her. She was in her bedroom having a mental breakdown. The kids running amok and her husband was playing video games. I'm so sad for her, but she seems to love it. This married single mother phenomenon is something that women are really, really talking about. And moms having kids and then having to utilize either their older children for support or the other female family members for support is egregious because everyone is tired. Everyone has limited time, energy, and resources. So if you are creating babies with men who are not helping, stop creating these babies with these men. Stop at one. If, you, if they are not helping after one child, what makes you think that they are going to start helping at two and three children? This makes no sense. Other people have things to do that don't include your children. It is amazing and wonderful when people have the time, energy, or resources to lend a hand. But those other people should not be the de facto other parent. Absolutely not. No. Stop having kids by people who are not willing to help raise the kids.